always forget my mirror. Why? Why am I like this? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm finally 21. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I'm super excited. Everyone keeps being like, oh 21 is like, you know, your best year. Mine did not start out great. I that there were some issues. I broke my car key for one, like who knew opening something and putting too much pressure on it could bend it and break it. Apparently everyone but me, but you know. I'm a bit of a dummy sometimes, so I'm very book smart. I have like zero common sense. So that's probably why, but I'm excited and I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me for my birthday because I was like that's how I want to celebrate it by doing a video with you guys or I just get ready I don't know like that's fun I guess <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get into it okay so to start I'm still like tan but my face tan has come off and like I was too lazy to reapply it so we're just gonna be going in with a lot of bronzer today like that's like what you need to know about this video but I did moisturize before this because like oh, she was dry she was looking like the Sahara Desert dry Sahara Sahara you know what I mean actual first start is like put my hair back because oh, she looks rough all right and then I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me, I'm in shade 10. I'm gonna put that under my eyes and any blemishes. This is a little light for my skin tone right now since I'm tanned, but with how much bronzer I'm about to go in with, it'll be fine. So, if any of you are doing fun, how did you celebrate? I find that really interesting because I feel like everyone kind of expects you to like go out get turned and like live your best life but like i would love to but um a bit hard when your birthday's on monday and you have class the next day and i know a lot of people like I, who i've met and talked to they're like i just went and partied anyway and i was hung over the entire next day and i was like yeah i don't really want to do that but you know to each their own My dad is coming and he's going to be taking me out to dinner with my little sister. So, like, that'll be fun. I love like for me, like, yeah, I'm going to go get dinner with my family. That's fun. And everyone's probably like, well, you're really boring. And your answer, or my answer to that would be, yes, I am. And I know this. I'm currently in week six of school. And, like, my bags are just getting worse and worse and worse. And I had, I think with my mom, she was like, yeah, I can tell that you're, like, not sleeping and you're overworked because, like, your bags look really bad. And I was like, thank you, mom. Thank you for being honest with me, at least. We love one honest queen in this house, and it's Shannon. Okay. Next, 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 next. I think I'm going to do my eyebrows. I love eyebrows. I love doing my eyebrows. And I am using the... NYX Professional Mega Precision Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Fun times, I know. My roommate was really sweet. Carissa made me breakfast today for my birthday. She, like, got excited at 8 a.m. And she's also taking me to class currently since I broke my car key, like I mentioned. Um, and she was so sweet. She, like, woke up and made me pancakes. And I was like, thank you for making me a real breakfast so I'm not just grabbing whatever is available. And running out the door. I joke though because she went like she dropped me off in her pajamas. It's like she didn't have class at eight. And I was like I feel like my mom's dropping me off at school again. I was like mom you're gonna bring me cupcakes right? The whole class? I don't know. I thought it was funny. But I think I'm funny most of the time and I don't think people agree with me. This anyone else like their eyebrows like you're doing something big that day or something exciting or celebrating and that's the one day your eyebrows are like <laughs> beautiful I'm like I hate you so much or is that just my eyebrows so the next thing I'm going to do is bronze my face all up with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and Sunlight I'm also going to do 
a light contouring with it. You know what kind of sucks about today though? Is that I had a test in psychology and like it's my birthday, shouldn't I be like exempt? Like I think I did okay. Like I think I did okay in the multiple choice, but hmm, the short answer is another story, honey. This happened. I feel like it came full circle that I had a, an exam on my birthday, senior year of college. Ew. I think it's kind of funny though, and that it came full circle that I had an exam my senior year of college on my birthday because freshman year. I also had an exam on my birthday, and I remember being so just not amused entirely over it, and I was like, I don't want to be here at all. Thankfully, I, like, got an A on that one because it was a history exam, and, like, your girl knows her history. I've also decided that now that it's my birthday, after this, I'm ready for Christmas. Or, I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I don't want to skip over Thanksgiving because I love to eat. And my favorite, my favorite thing is, like, the post that's been going around recently where it's like, what do you eat on Thanksgiving? Like, what do you eat for breakfast on Thanksgiving? And it's like, we don't eat on breakfast on Thanksgiving. We starve until we eat, like, dinner. And that's literally my life on Thanksgiving because I don't want to like overeat any not overeat but i don't want to like i don't want to eat too much beforehand and then not be hungry or something and also like that's so many calories that you're eating like for dinner anyway so like i want to eat breakfast but also i don't like my issue with thanksgiving is also i'm going in with the first color and the carly bible palette my other issue with thanksgiving is that I just don't have a very like big stomach to eat a lot at one sitting so like I eat small meals throughout my day and so to eat all like one huge meal on Thanksgiving is really hard because I'll get through like the mashed potatoes and I'm full so Ryan like I haven't eaten anything else that day I'm like I feel like I should eat more but so I've learned over the years that I have to give myself smaller like portions of everything so that I can like make it through the meal but y'all probably don't really care how I eat my Thanksgiving meal but you know that's that's what you found out today but I'm more so just really excited for um Christmas and I know that everyone's all like don't skip over Halloween that's cool. Halloween show's never been my thing. I've never been a big Halloween person. Like, I love fall, but I don't know. Like, I think because, like, I never really went, like, trick-or-treating as a kid. I guess because, like, our neighborhood wasn't really a trick-or-treating place. That sounds like it was, like, gang violence or something. No, it was just a lot of older people, and it was... Houses were far back into the woods, so, like, you didn't want to walk down or drive down the driveway and everything so we didn't really go trick-or-treating so i think that's probably why i'm not a big halloween person i don't know i just i think it's fun but like i said just not my thing and i went in with this color down here it's something sweet nothing from the hard candy palette for my crease and I'm currently going in with Sweetheart all over my lid. Chris and I are planning on throwing a Halloween party this year so like I think that'll be fun. We're having it right after um, our sorority's formal 
like literally right after. And I think that'll be fun, but it's like now I have to get a costume. I don't know what to go as because I haven't really dressed up in years. Well, I take that back. I did dress up as a candy corn my sophomore year, but it was like the lamest, laziest costume to be like, I'm a candy corn. I don't even like candy corn either. That's the other thing. I don't like all the like Halloween treats. I hate candy corn. I think it's disgusting. Like the sugar cookies are good, but I can get those at Christmas and Thanksgiving too, so. <laughs> Next. I know unpopular opinion these days, but it's my opinion. But, so October isn't really my thing except for the weather. And I also told my mom, I was like, oh, I want to set up Christmas decorations November 1st. And she's like, you can, as long as, like, you help me, I'll do it with you. And I was like, good. Watch me drive home. If it's not on, like, a weekend, I'll drive home for November 1st just to put up um, Christmas decorations. I just love Christmas. I think it's... So much cheer and fun, except for, what are they called, carolers? Not a fan of them either. I think they're annoying. I'm currently going back in with the whatever it was, sweet nothing into my crease. There's, there's no glitter up there. I'm going for a pinky look. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm feeling pinky today. What was that? Also, um, I mentioned in one video how I think that there's a ghost in my apartment. Fun fact, new update. So in Carissa's room, she had like a big picture set hanging. And she came home from class one day and it just like fell over. What brush am I looking for? It had fallen over and like broken into all these pieces. But the way it fell, it shouldn't have broken like at all because... It fell on like a soft thing and didn't have a fall drop, like a far drop. So that was like confusing because we were like, um, how? And then where's the brush I'm looking for? Here it is. Um, did I use this color already? Oh, I did use this color on this brush. Look at me go. Um, and so it like broke into like a ton of pieces and I got a call from her when I was in the library and she was like, so my picture frame broke. I'm going in with Love Affair. Yeah, I'm going in with Love Affair on, I guess, my outer corner. That sounds like a good idea. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. No, we're not going to do that. What if... Heartbreaker? Alright, I'm going to go in with Heartbreaker in this palette instead. I lied. And so her picture frame broke into like a lot of pieces. I was gonna say a million, but like it's not a million. It's an over exaggeration. But like it shouldn't have broken. And like there's no way that we can think of like to how it would have broken because it was fine for literally a like a year and it hadn't done anything. And then so I guess you could write it off as like it was just you know, it's been sitting too long and it just fell. I don't know. But I said at home that it's been sitting for a lot longer than that and that hasn't fallen. And so then, a week later, my calendar, um, I have like a weekly calendar, like whiteboard that sits up above my desk. And I came back one day after class and like it had been fine. It was up there before I left for class. I got back from class and it had fallen down. Everything was off of it. It was sitting in like a weird spot. Bought, and like I lock my door we both lock our doors before we leave the apartment and we lock the apartment door so it's not like someone came in 
and did it and I don't have anyone who lives on like the other side of me so it's not like something in their room could have like bumped up against that wall and hit it and made it knock and like had it falling down make it and so it's not like that could have made it fall down and then today I was doing laundry this morning and the um I had heard like the dryer stop and I was like oh they're like that's weird like I didn't think it had been that much time and like the door had been knocked open and I had a clothes flip like coming out of it and so maybe I like overfilled it but like I put that like I've had that many clothes in there before and nothing happened so I don't know and like we hear knocking a lot which like we live in an apartment that knocking could be from upstairs or like around um someone else who lives in one of the apartments around us so it's like okay like Maybe that's where it's coming from. I don't know. I'm just, like, convinced my apartment's haunted. And we we tried to see if we could get the ghost to, like, appear. Because you know how on, like, Snapchat filters, like, sometimes an extra, like, filter will appear? We tried that, and nothing came up, so... I don't know. Maybe I should do a ghost hunting series of ghost hunting in my apartment. Because I want to do ghost hunting on this channel, but I don't know. Like, I'm... I want to do it, but I'm also kind of a baby, and, like, I don't want it to, like, come with me, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Like, I thought it was haunted last year because I had the weird things happening, and then these have happened, and I was like, I don't know. This is some bad juju. I'm ready to get out. Going back to Halloween, because I just thought about this, I do want to do, like, a series of me doing different like Halloween makeup like I want to do a scarecrow like that one I've already planned to do but I want to do other ones so like if you have any suggestions please let me know because I need them because like, I do like really lame ones and like be lazy and be like I'm a cat and just draw like a cat nose and whiskers and buy some cat ears and be like I'm a cat duh but I don't want to do that. Ew, this has stuff all over it. I need to clean my brushes again. Alright, and then I think I'm gonna go in with Kiss and Tell under my eyes. It's this like bright pink. And we'll see how that goes. I just, I don't want to do that. I feel like I'm going for like Kylie Jenner's makeup for her 21st and spell. Also, I just really like pink. <laughs> because I'm wearing like a very monotone, like not monotone, but a very silent outfit. It's not very loud or anything. I figured, why not make your eyes loud? Oh, that is not cute. That just looks like a pink eye. I changed my mind. I'm not doing that. I don't really want to be rocking the pink eye look. Because that's not cute. Everything is falling. Alright, so actually I'm going to go in with I think this color. This purpley taupey color in the Carly Bible palette. I think I'm going to mix it with the gray in that palette as well. Yeah, I'm going to mix it with the gray. Fine. with the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara.
And I'm using what I always use, the Monster Big from Lancome. Because of course I am. Also, I hurt my jaw recently. I don't know what I did, but this like joint over here, the, I think it's like the Tempo, is it the Tempo Mandible or something like that? That joint, yeah, hurt that. Don't know how, but it hurts to like open my mouth to like, like too much to like pronunciate when I'm singing my Broadway songs and my core or um, even when I chew it hurts, so. I don't know what I did, I just know that I'm in pain. And next I'm going to be putting on my lips the birthday, su birthday suit from Tarte. Because it's my face. And to finish it off, I'm going to curl my hair. So that'll probably be like sped up because I don't want to talk too much while curling it. So I'll see you when it's done probably. Okay, so I just curled my hair off camera because someone was like mowing the lawn and like blowing leaves outside my window and like that was just really annoying and I was like I'm not here for it I'm not gonna put it in the video even though it could be sped up and music put over but like wasn't feeling it and so anyway this is the finished look I really like it I think it's really cute it's pink it's my favorite color I'm tanned again on my face from a lot of bronzer that I just put on my hair looks good, you know, it's Gouda. Everything's Gouda. Everything's coming up Gouda today. Which is good because it's my birthday, so. I need to get better at mouth pops. Everyone's so much better at it than me, but like, whatever. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it brought you happiness or relaxation from something in your life. And if you did like it, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button down below. And there's a little bell icon next to it where you can be notified every single time that I post that you will never miss a single video of me. And you can also click on the subscribe button up here. It's my face. And I will put two videos over here for you to watch. Or it might be like one here and one here. You never know. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Click through to this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.